guys welcome back to another video welcome back to another video with megan eating at home and trying a place i've never tried before because i have been wanting to try noodles and co for a long time but we finally live somewhere that has one so i drive past it all the time and i finally went so i got their most famous one i wanted to get the butter noodles because i have never had butter noodles before in my life i know crazy I've never had butter noodles before, but they had a small side of the mac and cheese, Wisconsin mac and cheese, and that said, from what I read, that it was the number one top favorite one from there. And then I also got a whole thing bigger, but I got the chicken parm, and that one looked, it smells so good. We got napkins, we got a fork, and we got a knife, but that the chicken parm looks so so good and it also comes in really cute packaging it's super cute okay let's open it i'm really i'm really excited to try this oh it looks so good oh my gosh look at this a garden who let's open this it smells so good okay i'm this kind of smells like craft mac and cheese but we're going we're gonna give it a try. Okay, y'all. I, I wanna try. This looks so good. It's calling my name. But I am going to. Let me. I'm trying to figure out the perfect combination for for the um setup so you guys can see the food. But if I make it to where you can see the food, then you can't see me. I don't know. Oh, we're just gonna get comfy. I tried so much stuff today, so all these videos, I'm going to try and post these videos like once, what's today? Tuesday. So I tried Starbucks's refresher today, so that video is going to be posted Tuesday, and then Wednesday, this will be posted, and then I also tried an, a coffee place this morning. I was going to do, I wasn't going to do that, but <laughs> I normally don't like doing a lot of videos like in one day, but you got to do what you got to do, and I've been wanting to try this place for so long. Okay. I think my battery's about to die, so let's hope it doesn't. But let's give this a try. Okay. That was really good. This was only $2 a side. It was like a side. It was the only one I could get as a side. Okay. This is really good. It's not Kraft Mac and Cheese, but it is good. It's better than Kraft Mac. I meant like, because I said whenever I first opened it, it smelled just like Kraft Mac and cheese. Okay, guys. So, my camera actually did die. So, if you catch me looking wonky, it's because I'm having to film on my phone. But sometimes I feel like my phone quality is better than my camera quality. You can have them. Just take them. Just take them. I'm going to get another bite of this because I am so hungry. Um, it is actually really good. I'm happy with that. It's even more cheesy at the bottom. Okay. I had chicken parm for the first time uh, right before we left California. When I went to this like local Italian restaurant with my friend. And the only thing that I, chicken parmesan is so good. And the only thing that I have the con I have to say is there's not a lot of sauce. And I know I don't think it's supposed to have a lot of sauce. But let's try the panini first. It's good. It's so good. Okay. There's a new place that's supposed to be opening up. It's called I Love Mac and Cheese. I think it's open. I think it opened up at the beginning of this month. And I think I might go there next week and try that. Because I'm trying to try all the new stuff. Like, all of the restaurants I've never really heard of before. Because here they have, like, a lot of veteran-owned businesses. This is a good. Mm. Let me try the chicken. They had an option on the website to where you could get grilled chicken or... Oh, was it grilled chicken? I think it was grilled chicken. I just got the regular porn. Okay. Does this not look so good? Mm. 
girl. That chicken has so much flavor. That's insane. This is the best pasta I've had in a really long time. This is probably the best pasta I have ever had. But I will say where we used to live, like uh, in North Carolina, there was the Chili's and we used to always go to that Chili's and they had, it's on the menu everywhere, but I swear, just like I always say, like on Crumble, I feel like every restaurant, cause like it's run by different people. So I feel like they, some people care more than others. And I swear, it they had the best, what is it? The Cajun pasta is so good. And I tried it when we lived in California and it was not the same. It just wasn't the same. But this is the best pasta. Like, mm, it's so good, so flavorful. The chicken's not dried out. It's cooked to perfection. Mm, it's so good. Like, I can't even explain to you guys. It is so good. It's so, I can't even stop eating it. I'm also very hungry. Okay. It's time to rate this. This gets a 9.5 out of 10. I'm giving it a 9.5 out of 10 because a lot of people have been saying that I have been given just too many 10 out of 10. So this is going to get a 9.8 out of 10. So this place was really good. This place is really, really good. Um, The chicken seasons perfection. It's super juicy. I don't know. It's just everything seasoned. Like the noodles, I feel like they even season the noodles. It's not just sauce that I'm getting. It's also seasoning in there. It's perfectly seasoned, not overly seasoned, but just the right amount of seasoning. The sauce is so good. Oh man, it's so good. And then this, this is this is also so good. I think these two, I think these are the two top order things. They also have stroganoff thing with gouda cheese like noodles they have like ravioli and stuff too but i really i don't know the what is this called i don't know chicken parm caught my eye and i've only ever had chicken parm one time in my life this is the second time i've ever had it and it's just so good this is it's it this is delicious this wisconsin mac and cheese is so good it's not as cheesy as what i thought it was going to be but it is still like really really good I'm not mad at it. Y'all, this place gets my stamp of approval. If you have never been to here and you love pasta, like I do, I'm a pasta gal. Y'all want to hear a funny story? Why not, right? I went to, we went uh, to visit in our hometown right before we moved here. So we were driving through. We went to stop at our hometown for Christmas time, whatever, to see everybody. And so we go to this pizza place with my father-in-law. He's like, oh, are we all going to get uh, pizza? And I also went to this place with my mother-in-law whenever I was pregnant with Sawyer and I got the chicken alfredo and it was so good there. So I was like, no, I want pasta. Like if I come to a, I'm gonna choose pasta over anything. If there's pasta on the menu and it seems like it's a good pasta, you know, like if it seems like they're gonna do a good job, I'm gonna get the pasta. And of course it was good, but just thought I would share that, but these both phenomenally good. Have you guys ever tried Noodles & Co? I had one to try. I finally am glad I tried it. Next, I'm going to be trying the I Love Mac and Cheese place. From what I've seen, it's really, really good. They have like mac and cheese, of course. They have like grilled cheeses and stuff like that. I'm trying to think. There was another place that I wanted to try, but I don't remember exactly where it was. That was new. Also, I'm thinking about doing like uh, once a week, trying like a new local coffee shop because I've tried them all, but I want to try different stuff and try them with you guys. Because one thing about this place where we're at right now is everything is veteran owned and all the coffee shops are the best local coffee shops I've ever had in my entire life. But I hope you
hope y'all enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Click that notification bell down below so you always get notified when I post a video. I love y'all so, so much. Stay safe. Be kind to one another. And Oh, my hair fell. And hopefully I see you all in the next video. Bye, guys.